The aim of this video is to show you how to remove the cover from your DJI Phantom 2 Vision uh, for making repairs or for adding devices like the Flytrex Core module from flytrex.com. Uh, I'll also show you how to remove the Vision camera should you wish to. It's a fairly straightforward process and you shouldn't have any problems with it provided you take a, a bit of time and care and you have the right tools. Before you start, you'll need a two millimeter hex driver or an Allen wrench um, and a small crosshead screwdriver. Now the screwdriver provided with the Vision uh, is actually a bit large for this job, so you will need one that's a little smaller. Before you start working on the Phantom 2 Vision, please make sure that you've removed the flight battery and the props. If you want to remove the camera, uh, either to make it easier to work on the Vision or for repairs, start by removing the uh, power and data plug from the back of the camera. You can now remove the camera mounting plate from the vibration dampers. If you squeeze them between your fingers, then you'll be able to gently pull them out. As you move the unit away, you'll see the servo lead. Uh, be careful not to pull on this too hard. The connector is held in some small clips on the top of the servo. Gently undo the connector and the camera will now come away. So now we can begin to open her up. With the vision resting upside down on the motor shafts, you can start to remove the hex screws. If you haven't applied the uh, colored stickers that DJI provide to the front arms of your vision, you might want to put some masking tape on there now. This will just prevent the top shell from dropping before you're ready for it to do so. Starting uh, nearest to the landing skid legs, you can undo the first uh, hex screws. These are quite deeply recessed. Moving down the arm, undo the next two screws. They aren't quite as, uh, as recessed as though the first ones and they're a bit easier to, to reach. Finally, take your small crosshead screwdriver and you can undo the small screws at the very end of each arms. Obviously you need to repeat this step for all four arms. So now you can carefully turn the vision upright and you can remove your colored stickers or masking tape from the, uh, from the front two arms. So carefully and using no force at all, just lift the top shell up and over the motors. Be really careful not to pull it too far. As you'll see now, there are two wires running from the top shell down into the main part of the Phantom Vision. Whilst you're still holding onto the shell, remove the GPS plug from the main circuit board. The compass cable can't be removed, um, but it has a bit more slack in it. And so it, that'll enable you to just rest the top shell against the main body to the side while you work. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.